Hi there, I'm Pip Mooney. COVID restrictions are being dialed back in Victoria and New South Wales with close contacts no longer needing to isolate for seven days. They will still need to undergo regular testing and wear masks indoors, though. Victoria's also scrapped its vaccine economy overnight, paving the way for unvaccinated patrons to return to restaurants and entertainment venues, while Queensland and South Australia will follow suit later in the week. One of WA Premier Mark McGowan's children has been taken to hospital with COVID. The Premier, who's also positive for the virus, has confirmed his child is in a serious condition as a result of the infection. Well, it's day three in COVID isolation for Labor leader Anthony Albanese. He's had to ask his front bench to step in for him again on the campaign trail while he recovers from the virus. Meanwhile, Scott Morrison is on the hustings today with a Liberal Party elder, former PM John Howard, joining SCOMO in regional New South Wales to announce $20 million for upgrades to community facilities aimed at boaters, campers and fishers. The wet season in North Queensland is making a late comeback with 300 mils falling since Thursday. While an overnight severe weather warning has been cancelled, the Bureau is forecasting heavy rain into next week. And Greg Norman is eyeing off a one-time appearance at this year's 150th British Open. The former world number one is intending to lodge an entry and says he He's still got what it takes. With Money Me, you get low interest rates and approvals in minutes. Download the Money Me app today. Approved applicants only. T's and C's apply. Small forward Jack Higgins has inspired St Kilda to a tough 17-point victory over GWS, but it was soured with a season-ending injury to mature age recruit Jack Hayes. Hayes left the field with a suspected ACL tear. Round six continues today with the Western Bulldogs taking on Adelaide in Ballarat. Then it's Port Adelaide and West Coast doing battle in Adelaide and Frio and Carlton over in Perth. In the NBL, the Hawks are down the Wildcats, 82-77 and Melbourne victory defeating the Carter FC. Buying or selling rural or residential properties, Miller, one and done. This is SAFM Weather. Chance of some fog this morning for the Limestone Coast. Mostly sunny conditions, reaching a top of 21. Down to 7 tonight. On Sunday, mostly sunny and 23. And our listener app is the home of radio, podcasts, music and news. Join up to listen live or on demand now. <laughs>